Hello, hello, hello. Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome to Well True Learn. Um, so we are <laughs> we are building an alphabet recognition system. Uh, not quite an alphabet recognition system, uh, but uh, sorting out three different shapes. And we need to use a perceptron to do this. So this one is different uh, from stuff that we looked at in the previous video, which was kind of assumed to be co completely accurate. Here we actually have to train on the data set so that we get at least 40% accuracy. Right now this seems to have a 75% error rate. Um, I think that's, yeah, the number is the, is the error percentage. So 75% of these things, it will get wrong. If we train on this data set, it should start to get better about figuring out which thing is which. So if we train, basically we need to get below 60%, right? Oh, so there we go, we are good. It now it knows well enough that if we click off this training button, we can actually do a test run and hopefully it'll get enough of this data. Yes, yeah, so you can see here, it's ac we get the accuracy kind of per bucket. And okay, and that one's not doing quite so hot. Uh, but hey, we our accuracy was just barely over the threshold. So I'm, I'm kind of pleased with that. Um, this perceptron, basically as we give it more data, it gets better, but we have to spend the time actually doing that. And are we paying money to do any of this training? Hang on a second. No, we're not. Okay, well then, sure. I mean, we can just sit here and, and train more, I guess. There is, I do wonder, there is There is the concept of overfitting. I wonder if that's a part of this. Well, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, now we're 80% accurate. Yeah, because we're, we're seeing an error percentage, not an accuracy percentage there. And this is the accuracy percentage that's demanded. We need to get at least nine correct classifications from this thing. Cool. All right, let's release this into the wild and it'll throw data in here until we actually pass. And we're getting there. I think it's, it is random as far as what ends up popping out of there, but we've completed. We've got decent accuracy on, on all three buckets. Let's go on to our next project. Ooh, startup profit revenue, $363. The cloud costs were $296. So we've made a total of $47 for this week. But hey, that was over the course of what, two days? So that's not too bad. This check shows the weekly profit statistics. Cool, uh, there we go, profit. And you must pay server rent using Cat Cloud. Value relies on your scheme and the number of users. Ooh, and the number of users, interesting. Cool, okay. So we'll see what happens there. We have a new task that we can complete. This is from Recapture Company. Text recognizing. We are aware that you were able to create a text recognition system based on the Rosenblatt Perceptron. We need a similar system. You must teach it to distinguish vowels from consonants. The task is simpler, but more accuracy is required. Okay, so this one we need to be 50% accurate. Man, that's feels lenient. What is private? Mail from parents. Ooh, hello, dear. We remembered what you said, but your birthday is coming up soon, so take this money and buy yourself something tasty. We love you very much, and we miss you. Don't forget to put a hat on. It's very cold outside. All right, fair enough. Let's let's take that money. Thank you for that, mom and dad. Okay, task number six. Okay, what are we doing here? We need to get 18 samples of data into here that are either circles or triangles, and we need to get squares or triangles into here. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. And do we get custom nodes? I mean, we do have a perceptron sorter. And that's reasonably fast. And we did train it to be fast, right? And it's it's as fast as this one that's untrained. So, I mean, doesn't this just... I guess the question is, how do we make sure we get enough information? I think these... I wish there were labels here. Um, circle, squ uh, square, and then the triangle. We'd love to equally split it, I guess. But given that this one needs more samples, we'll send the triangles down here. All right, does that make sense? Yep, circles are going up there. Squares and triangles are going down there. But are we gonna get, are we gonna hit this in time is the question. Uh, it's iffy. We're dealing, we're doing pretty accurate. Okay, there we go, we hit it in time, so that works. That's, that's fine, okay. So we just managed to, we just reused the previous solution and that was fine. It was accurate enough because we trained it enough. Because there's no, there didn't seem to be any penalty for spending time doing the training, which is interesting. I wonder if that's something they're going to bake in at some point. Um, come on, hit it. Okay, there we go. Next project. One thing that's interesting is it does seem like there's not much of a difference between the test data and the real data. 
so that we don't end up in in uh, in trouble if we if we're right on the on the margin and then go oh let's go ahead and ship it and then discover that hey the data wasn't didn't happen to line up quite so nicely and you got screwed okay reward seven fifty we spent spent eighty one on server time cool. Good afternoon. We've already bought Christmas trees for the holidays. Friends said that you can calculate when peak demand for the goods will be. Help us, please. All right. Do we have any 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 more stuff? Ooh, another piece of mail? Or is that... No, that's the thing. That's the thing we already saw, right? It looks like there's an unread mail, though. Uh, no. Okay. Let's accept the job. Ooh, deep news. Every day since 1905. Darkest years of machine learning. In 1969, Seymour Papier and Marvin Lee Minsky wrote a book called Perceptrons. In this book, they talk about math constraints of the first perceptrons, the Zor problem, exclusive or problem. This book has shifted the scientific interest and subsidies of the U.S. government organizations and slowed the machine learning for almost 30 years. The expanded version of the book was released in 1987, containing the chapters that disproved the statements from the critical remarks made since 1969. Okay, so, exclusive or problem. I'm assuming this is going to have something to do with it. It looks like it does. Okay, so the challenge here is, hey, the green has to go to both of these buckets, and we only have a single decision tree thing. And we, Okay, and we only get, this is the only unit we get to work with. Huh, okay. Fair enough. Um, well, we need to get, hmm. So this will be interesting. So we've got a whole bunch of greens. Um, we need to get reds and blues up to here. We need to get greens down to here. And we need to do it relatively fast. Um, okay, so red and blue. Uh, let's think about this. How are we going to do this? How are we going to get some of the greens? No. Red and green. No. So that will filter out all of the greens. We don't want to filter out all of the greens. Um, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, aha, I think I have a solution here. Let's filter out green and we'll filter out any. Now, what that means is that green is going to have an equally likely chance of going into this any bucket because it would have no error. It would also have no error if it went into green, but red and blue can only go into any. So that will ensure that we're getting three colors into, well, let me, that's, uh, let's flip this around. Anything can go into the top one. Green can go into that one. There, just to make this look a little nicer. That means that the output here should be all three colors. Um, but roughly half of the greens will go on the upper path and half of them will go on the lower path based on math. Um, and then actually we don't need this at all, do we? No, no, we don't. We just need this one thing. Let's test that. So yes, yeah, so we're getting some greens going there. We're getting some of them going down there. Aha, and there we go. We got accurate, accurate enough, and it took us 13 seconds. Okay, that works. Let's do it. Yeah, I think the data seems to be roughly similar. I mean, because we're getting pretty reasonable values. Hmm, okay, next project. There we go. Hello, we write to you from the Science Center. Our current programs run very slowly. Can you parallelize our calculations? Interesting. I just want to check out our, ooh, our income is, is not increasing too much. My share value does seem, to, it's a little lower than when I bought it. wonder if it's time to skedaddle there. Let's see if we can buy anything to make our stuff. Oh, we can. We've got some hardware that can make things run a little faster. Ooh, so I guess processing queue size by five. Nodes work speed. That seems more useful. Let's throw some money at these things. Um, or is this unlocked? Nope. Locked and coming soon. All right, fair enough. We'll throw all the money at all the hardware. And I have discovered, it's not really displayed anywhere, but if I hit the Alt key, um, I actually get to see the transfer time, the node speed, and the server cost, and the socket queue size, which are the things that we have been upgrading. So that's helpful. Um, now this is interesting. It has 23 red squares, and we need to get them into these two buckets. And what we get here is a load balancer. This block routes elements in the socket with the, less, the least overload. So it does require additional server cost, though. So, this is going to add an additional uh, two servers. Do I get information? I don't. Okay. But basically, this is just going to split all of the incoming traffic in half. Um, although, if this, if this route happened to be more backed up, it would favor throwing more traffic on this route. Uh, okay. So, cool. That's, let's test this run. 
And there we go. We can kind of see that visually. Let's go ahead and release that. And it is going to cost us more than the standard $2 because, hey, we're paying more for our servers right now. All right. We are complete with that one. Hey, our paralliz parallelization system broke after the last Doors OS upgrade. Can you fix it? It's a very big system. Doors OS. Okay. Like Windows. Cool. Uh, it's a very big system. Be careful. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Uh, same sort of system, right? We're doing the same sort of thing. The only thing is we need another load balancer in front of the load balancers. So we'll do that and do that. Although I'm wondering, this is a two parallel. Well, this is the same. It's the same as us just using one. Um, but we could reuse our, our, our prior solution. Or we could just, yeah, we could just do this ourselves. Test the run. We see it splits things out here and then it splits them out there. Cool. Release. Now that costs us a lot more money. That's costing us $11 a second. So we spent 92 bucks on that one. Um, but we made 650 bucks for that solution. So that's nice. Greetings. This is only a state provider of small country. We have very, we have a very suboptimal code to track our people activities. Unfortunately, we cannot allow you to change the code, but we have several new servers purchased on sale. Parallel the calculations as will help our tyranny to prosper. All right, by, from best dictator in the world. All right, 100% accuracy, 25 seconds. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So uh, we need to filter out. Oh, and we need to do it with an expert system. We need to get only reds. Uh, we have an only red. Nice. So this will work, but I'm guessing it's not going to be fast enough. That's my assumption, at least. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere near fast enough. Uh, how are we getting to? Yeah, so we got 10 out of 3. So we need... So even if we were to double that, that's not going to quite do it for us. Um, so we're using only red from... What was that? The first task we did? Um, let's use also our four parallel system. We only technically need three, right? Because if we were to triple... So actually, let's only use... Let's drag out some only reds. Let's only use three of them, because hey, why, why pay for the extra serve? Oh, actually, we're not paying for extra service for these. Never mind. We can use four. Why not? I mean, do we get paid extra for doing things faster? We are pay paying for six servers for this massive load balancer, though, which is kind of a bummer. All right. Throw these all over here. Test run. And only the reds are coming out, because we're filtering them here. Cool. Nice, and that's fast enough. Release. 12 seconds out of 25. All right. Except, all uh, right, our costs are creeping up. Um, how is, how is uh, the startup world doing? We can come, oh, our share, no, our shares still haven't increased much in value. I wonder if that changes on a, at the end of the week. Um, our income is interesting. Current users is fine, but whatever. Um, CBay, let's see, do we have, ooh, new hardware. Let's increase our hardware stuff. Increases data transfer speed by 5%. Nice. Node work speed by 5%. Nice. Um, where's the other one? We have, oh, this is coming soon. So this is not developed yet. Um, but it is something we'll eventually have, I guess. Oh, cool. Look, they actually, this updates with the, the background updates with these things. Oh, that's awesome. Do, are these all clickable little? Ah, that's clever. Okay, next task. Good morning. A prediction of presidential elections. That Okay, from Yahoo's Corp. Good morning, it's Yahoo's Corp. The president of our partner company has been dismissed last month, so there's an election running right now. We need to know who will win the election to decide what to do with the relationship between our companies. Do it, and you'll receive a payment of $1,000. All right, well, that works for me. Let's reuse some of our existing stuff, right? We've got our um, only red fast. All right, cool. Only red fast. Nice. Um, and then, oh, I guess we can just use our two parallel to distribute that out. Yeah, because we can't drag that out to both. We can't drag it out to both, but we can parallelize it. We can split the stuff to these two systems. And let's do a test run and see if we get the information in time, because it is going to be slow. Uh, we'll see. Yes, just barely in time. Cool. So we do is filtering and then we split at the end of that. We could also parallelize and then have two of these, but then we're paying for, well, 
Actually, that's probably better. I mean, it's faster. It should be. Uh, only read fast. We just need to rewire all of this. Ba bum, ba bum, and that into there, and that into there. Then if we were to test that, yeah, now we've got a lot more information getting there. And that's a lot faster. And because we're not paying for additional, so we have more of these nodes, but fewer, uh, but we're not increasing the total number of servers. So let's go ahead and go with that. Cool. And yeah, we're not getting any, I don't, it doesn't seem like we're getting any sort of bonus or anything for time spent. So whatever, that would be nice. Automatic Movie Raider. This is a message from the Oscar Committee. We want to replace some of our experts with the help of a neural network, right? A system that can rate their films by their type. Okay, cool. Red and green versus red and blue. Um, that's just a matter of filtering out green and blue and then just letting red kind of equally, kind of fail equally into the two, right? So something like that. I'm guessing it's just not going to be fast enough. Hmm. That's not too bad, honestly. We're, it was close. Low accuracy. What do you mean, low accuracy? Oh, no, the accuracy was fine. We just didn't get enough stuff in there. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll just make two of those then. Boom, boom. And same thing here. Green and blue. Da, da, da. Green and blue. Test that. Now these are getting backed up, but that's okay. Yeah, that works for us. Let's release it. Gotta love parallelization. Now, of course, it is interesting to watch the, uh, the little bits of data kind of seeing where they get stuck. Um, okay, there we go. Cat, bat, cat cash back, there we go. Ooh, and for, ooh revenue from our, uh, from our startup. We have made a profit of $200, so that's a thing. Ooh, but there's another startup we can get involved in. The self-driving car. Let's do that. And then I think we'll call it we'll call it a, a video for now. Hi. We are trying to launch our self-driving taxi service. It is a very promising startup, but we have a problem. Our algorithm makes a lot of errors when it tries to recognize traffic light signals. In result, the car sometimes moves on stop signal. We need you to solve this problem. The code must be working very fast. Okay. Let's it's from Weiber at cat thing. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we have a lot of information and we need to only get the red lights and the green lights. So this should be interesting. We've got to figure out how to do this and how to do it fast-ish. So, I mean, red and green, right? Um, the Let's start with the slow way that will work, right? Um, I'm gonna build a very slow version of this and then we'll try and see what we can do to speed it up. So um, we'll say blue goes to the trash and everything else goes to here. Um, could use all the same trash can and just draw a whole bunch of crazy lines, but that's okay. So circles will go out into the system. We'll filter out blues and then just reds can go here and greens can go here. Now if we run this, Hey, greens are going to the, wait, why are greens? Oh wait, no, that this based, based on shape, cool. This will let us <laughs> support three users a day. So that's not particularly fast. Um, it is taking an average of 20 seconds for us to get the data in, into, <laughs> into these, these systems. So the question is how do we go about optimizing this so that we get information out a heck of a lot faster. So we're gonna uh, tackle that. Actually, I think, yeah, we will tackle that in the next episode because, uh, well, that could be an interesting interesting problem. Is that do we do the decision on the front end? Do we sift things out at the very end? How does that all work, right? Um, we will take a look uh, next time we revisit this. So I hope to see you then. Until then, have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. <laughs>